Hi folks, hope you're okay today. We're looking at W. Day Davis and D. C. Allison in a critical and exegetical commentary of the Gospel according to St. Matthew, Volume 2, Edinburgh Clark, 1991, page 150. They write, unlike a genealogy in which the names outline a prehistory, a list of students indicate a pause history. In our Gospel of the Genealogy, in chapter 1, verse 2, in 1 2 17 shows Jesus prehistory to lie in Israel in Abraham's descendants while the list of disciples in chapter 10 shows his pause history to be in the church which has Peter as its head here's the question if there are these lists within the Gospels of various names why is it that scholars for the many 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 years have not taken those names as significant and have any historical veracity we are now discovering that those names do have some historical veracity and need to be taken seriously. If that is the case, it, it, it shows that the Gospels are much more, have much more historical content than much of modern scholarship has been willing to give credence. Thank you for listening and God bless you.